be back later. Oh, you can leave the breakfast dishes on the table. I'll get to them when I get home. He has really good Italian olive oil. It was nothing like it. You taught me that. That's the truth. That's the best. Okay, and honey, I put a little bit of the Parmesan on, not too much, just a so little. For these thy gifts, which we are about to receive, thy merciful hand. I was eating like a pig. <laughs> but I think God will understand just for today. Mmm. Well, I haven't eaten since early this morning. Mrs. Wilcox. Ruth Wilcox. Ms. Reynolds will take care of it in a second, Mrs. Wilcox. Well, thank you very much. Oh. See the clipboard on the counter? Sign in, fill out the application, and I'll be right with you. Thank you very much. So. Can you help me? Can you help me save my home? I'm sorry. I'm just so, so anxious. So it looks like you're upside down in your mortgage. Yes. And you took out a second mortgage 10 years ago and later a third. My husband had some health problems, so um, we took a second and then a third to pay for the procedures and operations. Is that a problem? Yes. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Unfortunately, Mrs. Wilcox, we will not be able to assist you. What do you mean? Why not? Well, in the first place, our agency doesn't have a great relationship with your lender. In the past, they've denied supplemental loans to other homeowners that we've tried to help. What does that have to do with me? Find another bank. And then there's the matter of the third mortgage, which is extremely rare these days. I told you my husband was sick. It's just too much of a risk for us to take. I'm sorry. You can try going back to your original lender yourself. Why do you think I came here in the first place? I've already tried. Ma'am, I'm sorry. You already said that. Well, is that it? Just like that? So, this is big government, huh? This is my tax dollars at work? I thought the government was supposed to be on my side. Ms. Wilcox, we're not the government. This agency is a nonprofit agency that works in conjunction with the federal government. Whatever. Bill always says it's all horse shit anyway. You know what? I'll bet if I were a minority, you would bend over backwards to help me. So what do you mean by that? I mean that if I were some minority or foreigner, <laughs> losing my home would not be a problem. <laughs> you know, my husband, Bill, he always says, hardworking Americans, Americans born and raised here in America, they just don't get a fair shake anymore. You got to be part of some special interest, some minority. Ms. Wilcox, in the great state of California, you are a minority. To be honest with you, there are, there are hardworking, real Americans of every race, shape, and nationality who are going through the same thing as you right now. Well, that's not the point. Well, actually, the point is, Mrs. Wilcox, your issue is not unique. You're, you're just one of many. You're not the first, and I'm sad to say you won't be the last. Lady, I am losing my house. It's more than an issue. And on top of that, Bill and I are more than a number. And you're talking to me like, like you don't care. Like you could give a damn, but this is my life. You're talking to me like I don't matter. Oh, that's not true. I matter. My husband and I matter. I'm sorry. I misspoke. I didn't mean it that way. Take that. What is this? Something that may be of some help. You don't understand. I came here to get help. That bank out there wants to kick us out of our home of 40 years. They want to kick us to the street with all our possessions. Is that what you meant to say? Is that why you gave me this? Huh? No, no, of course not. Then what are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell me? Listen, Mrs. Wilcox. The bottom line is that there are a lot of people out there in a situation similar to you and your husband. I really wish that wasn't the case. But the truth is, no matter how hard we try, we try and we just can't save everybody. I'm truly sorry. Thank you. You are a big help.
Not the bomb. Me. Tell me, how was your day? Everything's going to be all right. Thank <laughs> you.